everyone, so I'm back with another video. So today's video is going to be on these clip-ins that I've been wearing for two and a half weeks. So if you guys have been following me on Snapchat or on my vlog channel, you guys have seen these clip-ins before and a lot of you guys thought it was my real hair. A lot of you guys were saying, is that a wash and go? Can you do a tutorial on that hairstyle? And so on. So I'm just going to jump into this video and let you guys know the specs, uh, my thoughts on these clip-ins and so on. So these clip-ins are actually from a company called Her Given Hair. Some of you guys may already know about this company because it's pretty popular here on YouTube and on Instagram. So these clip-ins are super realistic. I Honestly, nobody knew that I was wearing clip-ins unless I told them I was. And I pretty much didn't tell anyone anything because nobody asked, so I didn't bother to tell anyone. So right now I'm wearing their coily clip-ins and they only come in one color, which is a natural color so to me I would say it's a 1B color so if your hair is a little bit lighter or darker you may want to dye or put a rinse on your clip-ins my clip-ins are 16 inches long and I got three bundles currently I'm wearing only two bundles just because um, a good chunk of my hair is out so I only needed to use two bundles for this hairstyle if I wanted to do like a full weave then I definitely would have to install the third bundle so these are what the clip-ins look like straight out of the box. These ones haven't been washed or detangled or anything like that. This is what they look like. As you can probably see, they're very defined. The curls are very pretty. Um, it has a light shine to it. Get about five strips of hair in each bundle. And each bundle is 100 grams. Her Given Hair has three hair types. They have kinky, coily, and curly. So I have them here with me, so I'm going to show you guys what they look like. So the first one I'm going to show you guys is the curly, and this is 14 inches long. The curly hair is looser than the coily. It feels very soft and it has a great shine to it. And the next one is the coily, which is what I'm wearing right now. This is 14 inches as well, and there is a little bit more shrinkage on this one because the curls are a little bit tighter, and it feels exactly like the other one. And then finally we have the kinky. The kinky hair is definitely a lot shorter um, because of the shrinkage and because of how tightly coiled the curls are. So the kinky hair isn't as soft as the other two just because it is tightly coiled and it's very, very, very shrunken. One thing I'd like to mention is that you definitely need to do your research before purchasing hair from any company. You want to make sure you choose the curl pattern that's going to match your real hair the best. Um, unless you're going to do like a full sew-in where you have no leave out, then you can pretty much pick any curl pattern you want. But if you're going to have leave out and you're going to rock a wash and go, I highly, highly suggest doing your research. So you definitely want to make sure you check out all three curl patterns. That's what I did for about a month. I watched videos with girls who had the kinky, the curly, and the coily before I made my decision. So when you get your clippings, they come in this black box right here. And when you open up the box, it has a little information card. Uh, pretty much just telling you what's inside your box, the clippings that you ordered, and also they send you some extra little clips. So I'm just going to tell you guys my first impression on this hair. Um, when I first opened my box up and took out my clippings, I was a little nervous because the clippings were extremely, extremely defined. Um, there was little to no frizz. Also, I noticed that the hair was very shiny and I was worried that it wouldn't blend with my hair because my hair isn't as shiny as these clip-ins. After, you know, playing in it and fluffing it out and, you know, running my fingers through the curls, the hair started to lose definition. The frizzier got, the less shiny it looked. So I realized, you know, playing in it and frizzing it up would make it easier for me to blend my real hair with these clip-ins. So that's pretty much what I did to make it blend with my hair. Blending this hair and my hair was very easy. So pretty much what I did, I braided down my hair in the back in four large braids and then I pretty much just took the clips and clipped them into the back of my head. Once I got to about, I want to say my ears, I kind of just sectioned off my hair so that way I can have some leave out and so that I could um, also have two flat twists at the front of my hair. The hair that is covering the tracks is in a wash and go and then the hair at the very front is in two flat twists. That's pretty much what I did. I kept it very simple. I didn't want to, you know, give myself any work. I just wanted a nice little break from doing my own hair. As for maintaining this hair, it was very easy. Yeah, when I wake up in the morning, I would, you know, remove my scarf, shake my hair out, stretch the hair. I would spray the hair with some water. If I felt like the hair needed some moisture, then I would go ahead and moisturize it. And then I would be on my way. 
um, as for at night. But pretty much what I did, I just took my silk scarf, tied my hair down, and went to sleep. That's it. In the morning is when I, you know, refresh the curls. At nighttime, I didn't really bother too much with them. So overall, I definitely do love this hair. Um, I'm going on vacation very soon, so I definitely will be taking it with me because I'll be going on vacation for three weeks. And I definitely don't want to be dealing with my hair while I'm away. Um, I just want to wake up and go just like I've been doing for the past two and a half weeks. So I definitely will be taking them with me. If you guys are looking for some clip-ins, definitely check out Her Giving Hair. But do your research first before you go ahead and pick out um, the curl pattern that you want. So finally, I just want to let you guys know how the hair held up um, over the past two weeks. When I first washed this hair, when I first got it, um, there was little to no shedding very little tangles because when I got the hair it was pretty much detangled already and you know defined and everything so there was hardly any shedding or any tangles um, but I will say at the one week mark I do sleep in these clip-ins so at the one week mark the hair was definitely tangled definitely had some matting um, towards the ends and the hair at the very back by my nape um, just because it does rub against my clothes and I do sleep in them. So I wasn't surprised when there was matting and you know tangles and stuff. So what I did was I soaked the hair down with water and then I applied my conditioner and then I finger detangled and then I used a wide tooth comb to detangle. Um, I will say that there was some tangles. Also there was a lot more shedding at the one week mark versus day one. The shedding wasn't anything crazy. It was I would say it was a normal amount of shedding and shedding and tangles is definitely expected when you're wearing curly hair and also when you're sleeping in them. If I was taking them out every single night then um, the shedding and the tangles would have been a lot less. For me personally I didn't mind it too much because the shedding wasn't that bad and also the hair is very very easy to detangle. Once it's wet and it has conditioner in it, it's very easy to detangle. Definitely not a pain at all, so I didn't mind doing that. So overall the hair did very well over the two weeks and I definitely can't wait to reinstall it. So that's pretty much the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down below. And also be sure to check out the description box so that I will leave some information there as well. Also if you guys would like to see any tutorials featuring these clip-ins, definitely let me know down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.